take a while turn it on yeah so now it read it say need to be update look at that you see because um, it need to update the new battery this one here to work with that that's how it is. They communicate, they, they read, you can see the RC3, DS3, that battery, and the motor. So now on the top here, say need to be updated. So in order to make it work, you have to say update, and then yes, process with update. So what you're gonna see here, the computer will scan through look the bar green bar will go up and down so now they update your battery you see the battery is a chip here need to be updated so they will update the battery right now as you can see Look. Yeah, you hear the sound of the battery that will uh, beep the sound because, yeah, you can hear that. And when it done, now it changed back to the battery. So it's done. It just need to be updated like that. And then um, now everything should be the same like before if you look at your motor still unlock the speed maximum speed is a hundred kilometer per hour which is already open to that and the the new the battery have been updated everything come back to normal and now here on the top here there is a warning sign say ignore the warning process the apply the model or cancellation apply the model here if you say ignore the warning process with apply the model they will change this motor here speed here back to original factory you don't want to do that so what you need to do just uh, apply cancellation apply to the model ignore the warning okay hold on you are about to change the model one of the lower maximum speed this operation cannot be undone yes so this one here you need to watch out here okay this not press this one just press at the bottom one here say cancellation apply the model that's what you need to do so press that that's it now the system is update you can see that they say the system here is ready to use and it won't change your stuff here if you press the one a while ago on top it say ignore the warning whatever you press that one then you screw up this guy you need to uh, do something else with this guy to unlock the speed and that one there it's it's easy uh, it's just like you have to go on the bucks and earn about the bucks and then you come down to here where it say assist and you change the uh, speed the full speed here where it say speed the rating upper full speed to a hundred kilometer per hour or whatever you want and the speed the, rate, uh, the speed the rating upper no torque speed it a little bit higher 120 or something like that and also this is another one for the European type which is like the over control with no throttle issue with no throttle issue here you have to change this one here um, this one go to zero hold on let me uh, this is a European version one that's you they control you they don't want you to use the throttle so they put the the torque 
works for you so that it's not good for you to do that so then the walking assist full talk you can put maybe just only three kilometer instead of 3.99 and then the walk assist no talk here change to two kilometer per hour and then everything else it should be the same this is a hundred kilometer per hour but that very important otherwise you cannot use the throttle um, button of this guy here uh, that's a uh, one thing uh, that uh, just a quick check go back to advent so it's gonna be there so that's it let's just shut it down now we're gonna unplug from the uh, program here just unplug them and plug it back to these now remember we turned it on a while ago it's not working now we turn it back on to see just press one you see it turned on now it take a while to communicate see the battery level it come back it's no more flashing so this one this battery here the one that it's uh, have issue now it's okay yeah the battery now communicated and the, this one that used to be not working now it's already communicate and it working with this guy that's all it is okay it take about 10 minutes here to uh, just doing this bye for now